make a pass. I feel like this could be my fastest pass yet. I really, really do. I wonder what I did. I wonder what I did. Wow, y'all. <laughs> make our pass today which is going to be so awesome because the weather is nice and cool. I love it. Look at the new and improved Roxy GTO with those beautiful valve covers. Magnuson Supercharger. What? So freaking Great equipment here. Uh, the track is steel coated. Uh, all in the top end is all steel coated, so it drains really well and dries really quick. We still have great temperature today. Uh, we are at 100% humidity with the drizzle falling. Uh, it blew up about 10 miles out and the wind blowed it here, so looks like right now, if, uh, if it quit right now and there was no more falling, we could be racing within the hour. So again, stick with us, find you a dry spot. The Hot Rod Grill's got some great sandwiches and cheeseburgers made up for you. So uh, again, when we go back to racing, be sure for our competitors to grab a towel, dry your cars off so that you won't leave Please anything behind for the Please. competitor behind. We're in the staging lanes. Race our cars. I'm not gonna race. That's Robert. He has a GTO like mine, except his is fast. <laughs> Faster. I'm not that fast yet, but that's okay. Yeah. It's the last day, y'all. Shit. If you're watching the live feed, you know that it's been on and off. There have been racing uh, races. I'm half asleep. Don't mind me. There have been races, but people have been on the track, different stuff like that. They've been running different classes. Um, Finnegan had an amazing, amazing, amazing wheel standing pass. Oh my gosh. But I'm sitting in the same place that I was. I don't know how long have I been here? Four hours? A little loopy. Tired? Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> Y'all, I think we're going racing. Okay, you guys, we are third or fourth back in the staging lanes. We're going to make a pass. The weather is great. It's very cool. I feel like this could be my fastest pass yet. I really, really do. Oh, I'm so excited. Last day of drag week. I can't believe we made it. 
now, Emily Reeves, the Roxy GTO. sticker on and then they check your car over and then you get the I survived. Or epic fail. Dang. Or epic, or epic fail? fail? Yeah, they have, we have epic oh fail. no. Yeah. Sometimes we put them on just for That kind of would be funnier to have it say yeah, epic fail. Epic fail. <laughs> we can give you one. Oh, it's okay. So and I got my Aussie sticker. Those guys stickered me up. 90. Somebody on the live wants to do live research. Bye y'all.
because I want to shift to second at 5,500. And in the moment, I've been leaving at four, right? So I wanted to leave at a higher RPM. So Aaron said, let's leave at five. Well, I got excited, I think. I left much higher. I probably left at five, maybe a little higher. So then in my mind, like right as I'm leaving the line, I'm like, well, I already need to shift to second if I'm, if I'm shifting to second at, at 5,500. So it all went really fast. I might have spun off the line. I don't know, I'll be interested to see what people watching that pass and or the videos look like because I felt like I spun, but then on the other hand, it felt way stronger. Leaving at that, just that much more of a higher RPM. Wow. It, it really did like, like, uh, put me back in the seat. Shit. Leaving at five was like, that's where the party's at. Man, I want to go again. Of course, I always want to go again. Oh, oh man. Let's see what we did. Thank you, darling. starting line he was pulling his phone out to text me 
Oh my gosh. Emily Reeves on the left-hand side, probably thrilled to death that she won a round of drag racing for the first time in her life, which is pretty cool. Emily Reeves. What an adventure that was. Man, Roxy did so amazing. I am absolutely in love with my TVS 2300 supercharger from my friends at Magnuson. I cannot wait to get bigger injectors and upgrade my fuel system. We need to pull it up. Oh my gosh, I'm addicted to boost. I'll never go back. This thing is rad. These Continental Extreme Contact Sports were such a lifesaver because we ran into rain and it was so good to bolt these bad boys on and realize that we would be fine and we did not need to park and stop and wait for rain because we had a good all season tire. I am most certain that these billet valve covers from Swift Tech added at least 12 horsepower. These things are so beautiful. We've built a lot of builds and hit the road, but never demanded that much. Hot lapped it. I've never driven my car that way. I said that before, but that was amazing that she didn't break. When we were building it, it it's a whole different kind of stress from going, if you're going to, you're road tripping it and you got some tools with you and you may break down and it's not that big of a deal. With the thought of her going down the track and possibly doing 130 miles an hour, it was a different kind of stress. So we had to put a lot of attention in detail, double torque and triple torque and paint stuff with safety paint just to make sure everything was right. And it worked. It worked out. It was out. perfect. Man, what a trip that was. And we are already planning for this year. 2020, we'll see more fuel system so we can get more boost out of Roxy because clearly I need it, right? <laughs> more boost, more power will not hurt, even though I still have a ton of learning to do. And I know, I know I should get an automatic, but you guys, I love banging gears and I'd rather be slow and bang gears than be fast in an automatic. It's you're, weird. But you're it's never going to be faster than the fastest guy out there. That's not going to happen on our budget. So we'll end up with a new transmission this year. Yeah. We're definitely putting a trailer on because that hitch was miserable the whole time. It was stressful. It wasn't worth it. We're going to get the two-step going. So it's on the bottom of the clutch pedal. That way she can just let the clutch out. When I drop my clutch, don't have to worry about it anything disengages. Else. I don't have any buttons, any crazy things to hit on my shifter. I'm so excited to relocate that two-step because it was so much fun to use. But I do think I learned a lot more by actually driving the car and launching it on my own manually, and getting that RPM right. Newburn was such a huge help. We had such a fun time just like learning from those guys and Finnegan was just such a good support system. I can't wait for next year and I bet we'll see some of you there because I saw so many comments like, oh my gosh, that track was in my hometown. You guys have got to pay attention to the locations where Drag Week is. You can come meet us and watch us race this year. It's gonna be phenomenal and I cannot wait.